Hi friends, I've been saying for quite some time that I was going to do like a true ship with me video, grabbing my orders, packing them up, sending them on their way, but I haven't. So if you're new here, my name is Maria and I'm a part-time reseller and I tend to ship every single day. So at the end of the day, when I get home from work, I will um, package up the items that went that day and then I will send them out at the post office the next day. So I never really have what seems like good content for you guys because I never have like a bulk order. But over the weekend, my family and I were actually out of town a little bit for a wedding. It went amazing, it was beautiful. And so it is now Monday and it is a federal holiday. So the post office is closed, so I didn't have to like package everything up late last night. I am about to do my packaging for the entire weekend and I was like, I should do a video. I should show you guys. You've been wanting to see my inventory. You've been wanting to see how I ship things. So today is the day. And as we go through this video, this is going to be like real life as a part-time reseller. We are standing in my house right now. We are about to go down into my unfinished basement and you are gonna get to see the like dungeon for all its glory. We're gonna go up to my guest room where I do shipping and I just have this business like a little bit of everywhere. So this is my real life guys, please be nice. <laughs> It works for me. Once we get to the packaging part, I have 16 orders that I'm gonna be pulling and I'm gonna go through each and every order just like I do a what sold video so that you guys see the profit and everything as we go. All right, here we go down into my basement. Yes, I did already turn on all of the lights. Usually I am turning on lights as we go. You can see the water damage that we had to seal. Um, you can see my once upon a child pile. I definitely need to do some once upon a child over here is my haul from the swap meet that I went to recently. And that's probably gonna be the next video on my channel or a couple videos. So over here, you can see all of our holiday decorations. Um, I have a little bit of my um, listed inventory right here. These are shoes that I've done. Um, and then this is what I would call my death pile, but it's my two list pile. Um, I do like having a bit of a death pile because I'm a part-time reseller and I never know, you know, when I'm gonna be able to go source. Um, so here you can see extra boxes. I do reuse every single box that comes into my house and I have some friends and stuff that give me boxes as well as extra, you know, USPS boxes. But guys, this is my inventory system. In all of its or none of its glory, you guys have been asking. These are just boxes that I got from um, Target, the large size hefties. You can see that I have... Um, what I guess would be my skew on each one of them. And they're each one in plastic bags, which I'll show you a little bit later. But when I print out my labels um, every single time, you're gonna see extra writing. Actually, that's a bad example because it, it's a shoe, so it doesn't have a box. Let me show you a better one. Um, so this Nick and Zoe top, which we'll talk about later, usually if you just take out these bottom two lines, this is what it will say. Um, so when I go pull my order from box A, um, let's just do that real quick. Usually, obviously, I'm going to have to pull down the boxes. Oh my gosh, I had my nails done for this wedding and they're huge and claw-like. So that's going to be interesting. But sometimes it's on the top and if I'm not getting anything else down, I can just dig through here and get it right on the top. Um, most of the time things are in bags, but I sometimes have some bulkier sweaters and whatnot. So I'm going to put you guys up on my stand so you can see a little bit of it. I will obviously like speed it up. You guys don't need to watch me pull 16 orders. And then we will go upstairs and I'll show you how I ship. I will warn um, that not having these on any sort of shelves is not great on your back. If I was going to be a full-time reseller or if and when we move houses, my intention is to have a more durable solution because I have to lift every box off of the other. So it is a great workout for me. Lift with your legs, not, you know, your upper body, of course. Um, but if you are planning to do a storage solution like this, just keep that in mind know your body, um, know what you can do and can't do because you could definitely hurt yourself like this. Um, and I definitely don't want to be doing this for a long time because I think over the course of time, this could definitely kind of hurt because every time I have to get to a box, I have to get all the other boxes down. Now, since these are clear, most of the times I can kind of like tip them towards me or away from me and see the pattern on the side. But oftentimes I will have to dump everything out. Most of the time though, like this one, I can see this pattern like poking through on the side. So I'm able to just grab it and put a couple things in the top and it's not that big of a deal. I do um, always put these in alphabetical order so I can just 
pull them moving across the boxes and not be going in every kind of which way that obviously saves me quite a bit of time but like in this one I have A through D and I only needed box A so now I put it back and now I need to get to box E because I don't have anything in B, C, or D today. So you guys get the idea. Let me know if you have questions down below or what else you want to see um, of how I do my inventory. I have a spreadsheet that lists every single um, item and it tells me what SKU I am. So when I am printing the labels, I'm writing those on the back. wedding I was in this weekend was outdoor and I have all these mosquito bites and one of them is a huge one right on my knee and every time I've been down it is itching <laughs> like crazy uh, all right so far so good we've been able to find everything every once in a while we have a problem or I have to dump the whole bin out but we're doing good Usually I don't have that many items, like I'm not packing 16 all at once. And I wrote down J. Crew, and I don't remember what sold from J. Crew. <laughs> oh, I remember, orange sweater, okay. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard to find in here. Okay, so in my haste to film for you guys, I forgot to bring a bag. So I am going to go grab a bag to take those upstairs. Yes, if anyone was wondering. That is an air hockey table. Um, the previous homeowner, like before we were about to move in, um, like I guess through the realtor probably was like, hey, there's some stuff in the basement, including an air hockey table. Do you guys want to keep it? And we we're like, sure. Like if we ever finish the basement, we'll have an air hockey table. Well, it's still sitting down here and it is great storage so okay I'm gonna grab a bag and I will meet you guys upstairs okay this is not where you thought you were gonna be but I just remembered that one of my orders is from this little stack these are where I always talk about wearing clothes and then getting them listed this was one of the ones I had worn and cleaned but I have not put in my inventory yet so we're gonna grab this and then in here is my shipping station in all of its glory. So yes, this is my guest room. When somebody needs to stay here, I will move all of this out kind of just into like a little nook in the hallway. That is my daughter's that I'm going to borrow so that my head isn't cut off because I usually just like stand or I'm on my knees. But I've got all my supplies here, boxes behind me, some lamps that I thrifted that are going to go in my bedroom, and some shoes. So we actually do need to pull two pairs of shoes. There's my gorgeous bag if you watched my Goodwill missed this video. We're gonna grab these right here. And then we're gonna get into this closet which is the one area I have for hanging inventory. It also has pillows and Christmas wrap and shoes and suitcases back there and it is our like gift toy closet. So it is a jack of all trades, just like me. 
We're gonna grab these shoes. We'll talk about in a minute. Try to be gentle here. Don't wanna mess them up. Yeah, the shoes under them that are sticking to them are trying to like come with them because they are one of the oldest things in my inventory and I should probably just get rid of them, but I haven't yet. I picked them up like the very first time I think I ever thrifted to resell. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me and this isn't too awkward of a setup. I wanted to make sure I could show you the clothing pieces, but then also kind of see how I'm packaging things. I hear that you guys want to see that. So let's go through each one of my items. I am going to show you how I package. Don't overthink it. I mean, this is really, really simple stuff. I literally, let me show you one. I literally use those like bread bags you can buy in the grocery store only because I don't like to seal them in advance because sometimes people ask for like specific measurements. Like I do post measurements, but I want to be able to like pull it out of the bag and put it back in. I also, um, sometimes like this one, it was too big to seal it nicely in here with my stickers that I'll show you. So I'm going to take it out of this one. I'm going to wrap. Um, I do send everything in either a plastic bag or paper, um, depending on the item as you'll see. Um, but these are a pair of North Face. I'm not going to unfold everything, but I will pop up pictures for you guys so you can see. Um, some of them I might be able to hold up, but for the most part, I'm not going to. So please forgive me for that. Um, but these are a pair of North Face men's like jogger pants that I found at a Prime thrift with me that I got recently. Um, I did a thrift with me on my channel for that. I'm trying to, I'm not usually at this angle, so bear with me for a second. I also don't normally have these claws, so... Oh, I do not recommend having big claws as a reseller. I think I will, I don't know how long if I'm gonna make it with these because I do a lot of typing at work and these are big for that too. Okay, anyway, um, I picked these up at a local Prime thrift store. They sold on eBay for $31. They, um, I found them in a new rack while I was doing a thrift with me video with you guys. Um, I was actually looking through like the housewares and they're, they happen to put a men's rack out because that's over by the men's section. I do have little thank you stickers that I use. I'm sorry if this is too gender specific, but I have black ones that I use on my men's clothing and I have pink ones that I used on my women's clothing. Uh, but I also will use them vice versa. I have brown ones that I use, so it's not that big of a deal. Don't overthink it. But yeah, so at that prime thrift store, my average cost of goods was $6.30 that day. These had been listed for 26 days and I made $19.72. I do really like, I gotta grab one of these bigger bags, so bear with me. Um, I do really like selling North Face. I know a lot of people skip it, um, but when I can get it low enough, I do still pick it up. I have different size variety of bags. Um, this is just kind of a little bit of a bulky one, so I've gotta dip into these gray bags. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like seeing me do this, if you like this style of video. Again, it's difficult to do because often per day I'll only have five, six, like 10 items or even less. So it doesn't seem worth it to do like a full ship with me video. But if you guys like this, I will figure it out um, somehow because they, they are kind of fun. They're kind of fun. Okay, next you saw me just pull this sweater from my closet, so I will show you. This is in a Wilfred Aritzia sweater. It's just such a perfect like closet staple, um, great for work, great for casual. I thought about keeping this, and for better or worse, maybe I should have, because it would have been great to just mix and match, but I don't know. I, Wilfred sells so well for me that I just had a really hard time keeping it, and... Yeah, so here we are, but it did, it sold really well. Um, this one actually sold this morning on Poshmark for $31. I got this at a Goodwill retail store. It was in, I think, one of my Goodwill new rack haul videos I've done on my channel recently. And I my average cost of goods that day was $4.15. This was only listed for five days and I ended up making $22.48. This is maybe my favorite Aritzia brand to sell. I've had good luck with Babaton also, um, but I have at least one thing of Babaton that's been sitting for a little while, and I have nothing else of Wilfred still listed. So anything that sells on Poshmark that I can fit into this guy um, is what I ship it in, as long as it's you know closed and it's not fragile in any way. Um, I pick these up at my 
local post office. Some of the boxes and stuff I do order from USPS is super easy to do. They come to my door. Um, but these I honestly just kind of pick up every few days because I can just grab big handfuls. So I don't tend to have to order them. Okay, I'm gonna save the two shoes for last. We'll come back to those. Okay, next is this Nick and Zoe blouse. So these bags, I just kind of, as long as they look really nice inside, they're nice and folded, I like being able to see the label, then I will just kind of fold them up and sticker them shut. If for some reason like chiffon or something, they like don't stay nicely in these, I will take them out and I'll wrap them in paper or something that's too big to close the bag nicely, I will take it out and wrap it in paper like I did those North Face pants. Um, so these also sold on Poshmark, so they're just going in this guy. And um, this one sold decently well. I It sold on Poshmark for $20, and I got it at a local thrift store for average house of goods was $2.97 that day. It had been listed for 119 days, and I made $13.41. It continues to be a solid seller for me. This one was an extra large, which probably helped it um, sell quicker. Whew. I had the fan on in here, but I was worried that when it was going that it was going to be annoying on camera, so I turned it off. But it is a touch toasty, so bear with me. And I am cold all the time, like habitually. So when I get warm, I like don't know what to do because it never happens. All right, let's see. Next is this, oh, I just pulled something out of the bag. Next is this actually, so this is one like, it's in the bag, but it doesn't look super pretty. And um, so I'm gonna take this one out and wrap it actually. And then I just reuse these bags. So I'll put them back in my little thing. But since I'm pulling this out, I'll show you guys. This is a cute little Lulu's dress, like one shoulder white. I will continue to pick up Lulu's. There's a fuzz on it. I will continue to pick up Lulu's when I can get it at um, like the bins or on the dollar days for like the one store I have near me that does dollar days. This I got at that swap meet, which I showed you downstairs. I just had another that we had the fall swap meet. Um, so I got this one at the spring one. So everything was free, absolutely free. It sold on eBay for $25.19 and I made $19.81 after 81 days. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, sorry, you get to watch me struggle with the tape. I'm usually not this bad with tape, guys, I promise. But yeah, this is my routine. So usually after the kids are in bed is my time that I run my business. Um, so I will pull orders and come up here and patch things up. My kids sometimes like to go down in the basement um, and help me like pull stuff, which basically means if you saw the like basketball and the football <laughs> sitting there on the ground by chance while we were in the basement, um, my son will just kind of play with those. Okay, so this sold on eBay. So I'm gonna use this eBay mailer. I do use my $25 store credit. Actually, I think it's a $50 now because I upgraded my store level. Um, I use these, oh, no, it's not gonna go in that one because it's too wide. So we'll do these Amazon cute little ones. I just buy whatever's on cheap or clearance, to be honest. You don't need anything fancy. Um, but yeah, I like this size mailer. I use this one probably the most. And this is the normal 10 by 13. That eBay one is a bit smaller. And actually most of my stuff on eBay ships in that one. But yeah, I like Lulu's. I sell lots of Lulu's dresses. I don't sell any super high. I have some that have sold higher, like longer length maxi dresses or cocktail dresses. Um, but for the, for the most part, those like I guess shorter length cocktail dresses will sell between like 15 and 25. All right, next is such a cute one. I can't wait to show you guys this one. I'm gonna take it out because you gotta see this. I'm gonna wrap it. Um, this is a vintage little <laughs> girls like onesie, footed onesie, perfect for like Easter. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I can't, there's just some fuzzies on it. I got most of them off, but. I hope that someone is taking like newborn pictures in these. I kept thinking it was gonna sell around Easter and it did not. 
but I'm glad to see it sell now. Somebody actually scooped this up over on Kitizen. So I had a Kitizen sale, which is always just exciting. And I had it listed for 30. Someone offered me 15. And to be honest, I just wanted this to be like in someone's life. I didn't want it sitting in my inventory. It just seemed like it was going to be wasted sitting in my inventory. It's too cute. It needed to be on a little child. So I accepted that. I do offer free shipping on Kitizen, so that eats into it just a little bit. And um, But the good thing is I got this at, so the local thrift store that I always talk about that does dollar days and 50 cent days will often do quarter days for kids' clothes. <laughs> quarter days. So I got this at that for a quarter, literally 25 cents. And um, usually when they run those kids' sales, they will also offer like 50% off or something on all of the adult stuff. So I'll look through the kids stuff a little bit to see if I see anything fantastic and then I will um, just shop the adult stuff or I'll find some kids stuff for you know my own kids. All right, this would fit into this eBay one perfectly, but yes, I know it's probably irrational, but I don't, use, I don't like using my eBay mailers for non-eBay packages. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. If you do that, that's fantastic. I use my Amazon packages like my personal use ones to ship out stuff in my business but for some reason I don't use the eBay ones for anything else so they will get a nice pretty little floral one instead does anybody else like how, how do you feel about that do you use eBay tape or something like on your Poshmark packages I don't know I just don't <laughs> I don't really have a reason other than I don't know I don't know zero reason clearly okay next is a pair of Prana pants Prana is another tried and true seller for me. So this one I'm just going to keep in the plastic and fold down. And I got an offer on Poshmark. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't finish telling you about the bunny one. Did I? I'm new at this, guys. Um, sold a Kittison for $15. I do offer free shipping. Thrift store, $0.25. Cents. It sold after 195 days, and I made $7.47. Okay, so back to this Prana pants. Um, I got an offer on Poshmark for $25 that I did accept. I got these at that same local thrift store, probably on like a 50% off day or something. Um, so my average cost of goods that day was $3.54. They were only listed for 17 days and I made $17.48. Prana, like hiking pants, climbing pants, things like that, just pants in general, are probably my favorite category to sell on Prana. They always do really well because they always tend to sell pretty fast. I think this is probably a good time of year to be selling Prana pants, because um, everybody's getting out and hiking and fall time. I don't know, at least I am. Okay, next is a Magashoni. Ooh, this one is ripped. So I am just gonna wrap that one and we'll toss that. I think that's been used a few too many times. Well, while I'm already taking it out, this is just a Magashoni open front black sweater cardigan. I did get to wear this to work a few times. It's got these really interesting um, cuff details right there. I actually got a lot of compliments on this and it was comfy and it was warm, which is always um, what I'm looking for in the workplace. It was a bit large on me. It's a size medium, but you can get away with that in sweaters. So I'm always trying to wear as many things as I can to the office before I get them sold. Um, this was one that I definitely accepted a lower offer than I needed to, but I really just want to move things. <laughs> if it's anywhere in the ballpark, I've been accepting offers. I have a lot of inventory and I have a lot of unlisted inventory and I have to store everything. So I want to move stuff out. So I got an offer on eBay for $20. I think I had this listed for like 45 probably, and I accepted it. I got it at a Goodwill retail store. My average cost of goods was $6.80. It was only listed for seven days and I made $7.85. So definitely lower on the profit for this one. But hey, you win some. And I wouldn't even say you lose some. You just win some higher than others, at least in this game. You're only really losing if you lose money, which I did not. Okay, we need a pink sticker. And what? Did I say this is eBay? Is it gonna fit in this one? Let's try. Yeah, I think it is. I really, really, really like these mailers. I'm actually, as I was prepping, realizing I need to repurchase some of these 
mailers. I just kind of need to do a restock. It's time for a restock before I run out. I need to order more paper. I always like to have like backups and preps for everything so that I'm never in a situation where I'm completely ran out, you know? Oh my gosh, it's stuck to my finger. Ah! Okay, this one got like a little bit on the side, so I'm actually gonna put a tiny bit of packing tape on that because I don't want that. Oh my gosh. Obviously, I don't want that to come loose in the mail or for anything to get in. So we're just gonna seal it up and send it off. Next is a Victoria's Secret ball. This is the one that came and fell out of the bag. So um, this one actually was my own for a while, but I got it originally at the Baltimore bins. Um, and I just went through what I had recently and I had a bunch, so I just got rid of a few. It's a nice Victoria Sport, like strappy. Um, it probably was a little bit tough because this one did not have a size tag. Um, actually when I bought it, it didn't, like I didn't rip it off, but um, I was pretty sure what the size was and I just stated that and I probably posted measurements with it. But this finally sold on eBay for $19.99. It was, I counted it as personal use, but um, so I had zero dollars into it. At some point I got it at the bins, probably paid around a dollar for it. I'm gonna probably run out of tape in this video. And you can see me struggling to get new tape on with my big claws. This one sister for 191 days and I made $15.91. I will pick up any and every Victoria's Secret bra in the bins or dollar days or 50 cent days or any of the above if it's in good condition. They just sell so well for me, specifically on eBay for some reason. I don't really know why, but I think people especially with um, not necessarily sports bras, but normal bras, just find a style that they work. Cause sometimes it can be really difficult to find one that works. And then they probably are like, okay, I wanna buy more in that style. I wanna buy more colors. I have done that before. And then they go to eBay and they buy more. So that's why even some of the older style ones still will sell because maybe somebody really fell in love with that. It was just comfortable for them or worked really well and they wanna find more. Okay, this is another fun one. This was my son's little Janie and Jack shirt. Um, it's just like a striped polo. I don't think I paid for this, or maybe I got it at that like kids 25 cent day is very, very likely. Um, but I accepted, no, I sent out a Poshmark $13 offer on this one, which was accepted. Um, wait, 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 no, this is Poshmark, so I'm not gonna use the eBay mailer, but I am gonna use one of my little foldy boxes. <laughs> So I accepted a $13 offer. I had $0 into it. It was listed for 385 days and I made $10.82. I like selling Janie and Jack. I definitely think the girls Janie and Jack sells a little better for the boys, at least in my experience. It sells better than the boys, I'm sorry. And like the little dresses and cutesy things, I think do the best. I like these little foldy boxes, obviously, because they're a bit more recyclable. These are recyclable, but you have to put them with plastic bag recycling, which I know a lot of people just don't take the time to do. Somebody's probably more likely to, you know, throw that in their recycling, but they're super cute. So anything on Poshmark that can fit in one of these, I always, I always use them. My daughter also loves them because she sometimes will help me like do shipping and stuff. And she's always excited whenever we get to use a foldy box. Sometimes it's the little things in life and it's the little moments with your kids that just warm your soul. So Foldy Box is going out to Skylar tonight. All right, what else do we got? We've got a Calvin Klein dress, which I don't think it's gonna close in that packaging. So we're gonna wrap this one. I, my favorite two things to sell from Calvin Klein are professional like career wear and then like evening cocktail wear and it just sells pretty consistently. So I got this at Salvation Army. 
I think I might have done a video of that one actually. Um, and I got a whole bunch of Calvin Klein cocktail dresses that day, I think for around like $5 each. Uh, but this one on eBay, I got an offer for $30, which I accepted. I was thrilled with that. And my average cost of goods at Salvation Army that day was $5.70. It was listed for 188 days, and I made $19.789. I'm hoping to start seeing an uptick in these cocktail type dresses, especially as we're moving into like holiday season and people wanting them for like New Year's and Christmas and work parties and all kinds of different stuff. You just need more festive stuff at the end of the year. All right, is this one gonna go in this? Nope, we're gonna either gonna use a pretty floral one also. My daughter when she helps me shipping also gets really into like which mailer we're using for which package. She's always trying to like guess which one it goes in. And she's getting there. She's she's learning. Alright, how many more do we have here? We're getting we're getting close. The next one, oh this one's fun. This one is also falling out of its bag. Um, this is a little Wizards, Washington Wizards, which is the basketball team, but this is the old logo, so it's definitely dated. I think I looked it up like back to the 90s, and I definitely got this at the quarter sale, I remember. I, I do live outside of Washington, D.C. It is a little Adidas. It's definitely vintage. The only problem was that one of the three snaps down here um, is missing. Like there's, it's it snapped in on the one side, but it, it doesn't work. So I thought about like fixing it. And I was like, that's going to take way more time than this is worth. And um, so I just listed it as is and took a picture and said, you know, the one snap doesn't work. However, it's fully functional. Like it's going to hold it on the child. It's not going to fall off. And if they're wearing pants or shorts, you're not going to be able to see that. So like I, as a mom, that wouldn't bother me if I was looking for like a cute, I wouldn't buy it like this was going to be an everyday thing, but this is probably something for like a super fan that's taking their baby to the game or is going to a Washington Wizards party or taking pictures, you know, that wouldn't bother me at all. So I sold this on Poshmark for $12. I think it was listed for 15 and that was a 10% offer that was accepted. I got it for 25 cents at that um, sale. It was listed though for 502 days. It's a very specific buyer. It did have a flaw. There's not a lot of babies out there that are going to basketball games, um, but I made $9.63, so that is all right. All right, this is going on Poshmark, right? Is that what I said? I need you guys to be able to like talk. Maybe I should do a live. I've never done an eBay live. Did I say eBay live? I've never done a YouTube live. So I guess I just figured I was too small of a channel and no one would come. If you guys want me to do a live, let me know, but you have to promise to show up or else I'm just literally going to be talk talking to myself. But that's okay. We can have a small intimate crew. All right, next are some Vince pants. These literally sold like an hour or so ago, so I added them to my pile. Um, Vince. These are Vince jeans. It's the first time I've sold Vince jeans. And, oh, I don't need that yet. I need a sticker. I don't think these are one of their best-selling categories. So I think I had them listed at 40. They had been listed for quite a while. Um, so I accepted the $20 Poshmark offer. I think she originally offered me, like, 16 I was listed at 40 She countered at, oh, no, I countered at 20 25 just because I was trying to move them out. She countered at 18, I countered at 20, and we made a deal. I have a lot of jeans. I really do just need to keep them moving because I bought, not bought, I picked up so many jeans at that swap meet, which you'll see soon. So many jeans. So I need to make room in my inventory for all of them. You saw me pull this orange sweater downstairs. I love these really um, good material J. Crew sweaters. Obviously, cashmere is great to find. This one is Italian merino wool. I have sold a lot of wool J. Crew, just classic men's sweaters, and they do consistently well for me. So this sold on eBay for twenty-four dollars. I got it at the bins, actually, and it is in fantastic condition. I bought it for $1.63. It was listed for 264 days. I think we needed to get back into, like, the 
cold weather season. And um, I made $18.38. So I'm going to continue picking up J. Crew pieces. It is a really, really good bread and butter seller for me. They just make good stuff. I like wearing J. Crew, and I think a lot of people know it and like it. All right, here is a 10th and Ocean linen shirt. Um, it's a washable linen shirt. It's not 100% linen, but it is a linen blend, but it's washable. I picked this up at the Baltimore bins and it needed quite a bit of steaming, but when that was done, as expected, um, it looked really, really good. And I do like finding men's stuff because it sells well and I just don't find quite as much of it out in the wild, probably because um, this, is, this is stereotyping, I'm sorry, but I think females tend to shop more and therefore more of it ends up in thrift stores than men's clothes do. But this sold on eBay for $21.59. My average cost of goods at the bins that day was $1.39. And it was listed for 39 days and I made $16.02. That's a great sale because we're moving out of the season and I've still been having linen sell, which is great. Like I've sold quite a bit of linen in the last just like two weeks, like almost more than it felt like I was selling during summer. So I don't know why that is, but I'm not mad at it. We are gonna just roll with it. Okay, the next two things I have are my two pairs of shoes that sold. First are these cute little, um, not toddler, probably little kid. Yeah, 13 M. So my daughter's eight and she wears like a two. Um, but these are in super great condition. Were these Poshmark or eBay? These were eBay. I might, ooh, I'm gonna fall off my little stool. I might put them in this box if they will fit. Um, this we had to order. I don't online shop much since I'm in thrift stores so often, but I did have to order some things for myself and my daughter and my son because we were all in the wedding this weekend. I was the bridesmaid, my daughter was a junior bridesmaid, and my son was a um, ring bearer, and so I had to get certain things and I ended up buying her and I a pair of shoes on Amazon because despite me trying, I'm trying to decide how I wanna package these. Despite my best efforts, I wasn't able to find either of so a pair of shoes and thrift stores in time that I really liked. So I always save the boxes and we always reuse the boxes. And yes, I will use, as you see, I'm trying to not talk and crumple at the same time. I will use shoe boxes to ship packages. You're gonna see me tape them really well, um, but I've never had a complaint of using shoe boxes to ship things in, and I like being sustainable, I like reusing things. Um, the only thing I will not do is I will not ship a used pair of shoes by a certain brand, by a brand in the same brand's box. Like, for example, if I have a used pair of Nikes, I'm not gonna ship out those Nikes that I'm selling as pre-owned in a Nike box for another type of shoe. I just think it's confusing because then they might think, oh, it came with a box, but this isn't the right box. Did you send me the right shoes? But like Timberland shoes, little Amazon box, no issues there. So now I'm gonna make sure that it is packaged really well. Sorry for the loud noises. And yeah, I've never had any issues. Do you guys reuse packaging for your business? I obviously do have to buy quite a bit of packaging, but there's a little dent in the box, so I'm gonna cover that up too. But anything that comes into my house that um, comes through the mail or USPS, Amazon, FedEx, anything, even like we sometimes do like meal boxes and stuff, like Home Chef or HelloFresh or any of those, I will use those boxes to ship things too. Um, because I like reusing boxes. It's a little bit more sustainable. I still have a piece of tape for anyone that was remembering or wondering. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna slap this right on the top and call it a day. All right, we have one more pair of shoes and then we are all done with this little thrift with me. Not thrift with me, ship with me. 
We should do a thrift with me though because those are fun too. All right, my last item are these pair of Echo shoes. I did find these in a thrift with me recently. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. They're these like gold metallic. They seem to be brand new. They've still got the sticker on the bottom. These were also eBay. What do I want to? I should have grabbed another box. I don't think, I think these are too big. Yeah, we don't want to shove them in there and damage them. And I don't think I want to ship them. Okay, I was trying to remember the weight to see if I have enough weight to put a box, which I don't. I do often ship um, shoes. I ship as many shoes as I can in boxes because I want to keep them safe. Um, however, depending on the weight, I try to keep my shipping costs low. So I won't charge as much for shipping. So I don't have enough weight to, sh to put them in a box. Um, but I will package them well, again, in a mailer or sometimes in a bubble mailer or an Amazon like mailer that have a little bit of cushioning. And I also have never received a complaint. I've never received a complaint on any platform about my packaging. I have always received very positive feedback. So we are just going to wrap these here like so. And I think it will be good. This is how I was intending to package. I just didn't remember that without looking at the label. I was watching um, Back from Burnout. Um, she's an Australian bookseller. If She is so much fun. So if you're not following her, please go follow her channel. Um, I don't sell books. I mean, I have like a couple listed that I randomly picked up. But in general, obviously I'm doing clothing, shoes, accessories. She's just so much fun. Um, and I do still learn a lot about eBay in general. She's, she's an eBay seller. And she was opening, this is like years old video. I've been like binging her content while I'm working. So it, it was like a two year ago video. Um, but she was unpackaging something that she had purchased, I think on eBay for like her daughter or for a Halloween costume or something. And it was like a cowboy hat and somebody had put it in a mailer and it was like scrunched. And, oh, I forgot to use the tape that was on my leg. We'll just add a layer here. Um, and yeah, I would never ship a hat like that. I've shipped like baseball hats. Some of them I will, not all of them. It depends on the hat. Um, but yeah, I couldn't imagine shipping like a cowboy hat in a mailer. But anyway. Okay, so it's gonna go in one of these nice pretty flower ones. Give her a sticker. Oh, I don't think I told you. I've been so busy talking. I'll go back and tell you about the Timberland shoes. These Echo shoes, I accepted a $25 offer on eBay. I got them at the Prime Thrift Store. Average cost of goods was $6.30. They sold in six days, really quick, and I made $14.79. I really like selling Echo shoes. All right, let me explain the Timberland shoes because I think we we're so busy talking that I got distracted. Okay, the Timberland shoes I accepted, did I do this? I accepted a $19.99 eBay offer. I got them at a second avenue store. My average cost of goods was $5.15. Those were listed for 434 days. So I've been really slowing down on picking up Timberland um, and they um, made me $14.06. I have a Timberland polo that I got at the bins at some point. It's just like a black polo. I think like when I started reselling and I've just, I don't know, I had this thing about Timberland being a great seller in my head for some reason. And it's still listed, and I keep dropping a price. But, all right, those are all of my items for today. I hope this was a little bit informative. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about my shipping and my inventory. So let me know down in the comments, do you want to see more content like this? Um, I will try to get better and faster at it if I if I do, I feel like I was really talkative. I was really chatty, which some of you love and some of you don't love quite as much. I am going to go down and um, finish some photographs that I started this morning because the kitchen is just a little bit crazy because I yes, I photograph with a white wall in my kitchen. I hope that you are having a wonderful morning, night, evening, or whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.